This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This tutorial video shows you how to create a custom map using sheet data with Google My Maps and Google Sheets. Let's get started. First, navigate to Google My Maps. You can do so by searching for Google My Maps or navigating directly going to google.com slash mymaps. You need to be logged into your Google account and then you'll be allowed to create a new map. When you choose create a new map, you can have the option to import data from a spreadsheet. By clicking import, it will navigate me to my drive or allow me to upload a file. I'm going to select a file here that has a series of current events created by students. It will populate a list of choices so that you can select which of the spreadsheet columns contains the location information. You can put an address, longitude, latitude data, or even city, state information and that will show up in your map. If you mouse over you'll see that this will show the example data that's contained in my sheet. This is adequate for populating the map pins. So I'm going to choose location here. And then it wants to know how I want to title my markers. All of these pieces of information in the spreadsheet will come into my map pin, but I need to decide how I want to label my pin. I'm going to label my pin with the name of the article in this case. Click Finish and your map will populate. The pins will be placed on the location. I'm going to rename my map. And then if I want to share my map, I'm going to want to select the Share Settings. This works just like a Google document. I'm going to change mine so that anyone with the link can view my map. That way it can be shared to other people with this link. So let's take a closer look at the pins. When you click on the pin, you'll notice that the data that comes into the pin is reflected from the spreadsheet. So here is my original spreadsheet. And the columns in the spreadsheet come into the pin so that I have a label for each column along with the information that was submitted by the student in the Google form. This pin can be edited for, by anyone that has edit privileges for the map and so as an alternative one of the things you could do is instead of just sharing anyone with the link can view, you could share so that anyone with the link can edit and then give that link out to students who could then make changes to their map including adding a picture. So if students have edit permissions to the map they can add a photo or video to coincide with the submission that they made. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos and resources for use in your classroom check us out online at teachingforward.net.